this week on the Hot Shots from Duval. This is a Birth to Cherry 2.0 production. This episode is sponsored by the Martavis Bryant Vape Shop. Y you know, it's sponsoring this video, but it's killing kids left and right. As a 15 year old who does not vape or do anything like that, please stay away from vape shops. Do not go there. Unless you want to die young. Your decision. Alright, the Jared Goff Golf Charity and the yearly sponsor of the Blake Bottles Company. Who needs recycling? You got Blake Bottles. And for viewers like you, thank you. The Black Interior Brigade traveled to somewhere they can never win. Houston, Texas. Without everything, they can never seem to win in Houston. Despite them being good, they can never win. Even with Blake Bortles, they couldn't win. Even with that man Brock Osweiler, the Texans still won this football game. Now this was back in 2016. The game before Doug Marone became the head coach of the Jacksonville Jaguars. And look at the Texans sling the ball with, yes, Tom Savage. Oh, the Jaguars didn't lose, all right. They got straight up humiliated. Let's see if Gardner Minshew can change something. Oh, who am I kidding? He probably won't. Minshew mania. Let's go. All right, second down and nine. Can the Black and Teal Brigade actually score? No, they can't. We put how much money in this offensive line? Anyway, the Texans have the ball. And Deshaun Watson will hand it off to Duke Johnson. And the Jaguars are still struggling to make tackles. Oh, boy. Watson's scrambling up to the left in the Black and Teal Brigade. Pretty nice job there by Jalen Ramsey. And now Minshew. He's going to step up and... Yup, he's a rookie. You know, DJ Chark kind of didn't do that good on that play either, but oh my god. Anyway, the Black and Team Brigade are back on defense, and they still can't make tackles. And the Texans are probably going to own them again. Flag on Jacksonville. Shocker there, holding on Avery Jones, it looks like, in the second down and nine. Miles Jack coming back from his suspension. And let's see if the Black and Team Brigade can make a stop on 32. They cannot. Just throw to DeAndre Hopkins, won't you, Watson? Gee, way to make your fancy stats look good. Sean Watson, who might be the most overrated quarterback in the league, currently is so far slinging the ball against this Jaguars defense. Look at the second down and six. Watson, like, what a terrible throw. Just good completion there by the receiver. And Watson will throw to the end zone, and there's a Deshaun Watson we all know and love. It does not matter, because they kick a field goal with Tucker Fairbairn. 3 nothing Texans. On the road with Minshew, I'm not bad. Let's see if Gardner Minshew can shut me up. He kind of, sort of does. A nice run on the third and nine, but there was holding on the defense. And so that Minshew run will stand. I have been crucifying Minshew all week. And... He lost the ball, and thank God the Jaguars got it back. Holy crap, I would have cried. First attempt for the Texans, anywho, and now Watson will throw, and what a catch. Oh my God, 37 got absolutely burnt, and Watson's trying to scramble away, and Josh Jacobs sacks him. The Jaguars are playing this game without Marquise Lee, A.J. Boye, and Yannick Ngakwe, and yet we're only losing 3 to nothing. However, Minshew cannot throw on third downs. Shocker, he's literally turning into his preseason form as Deshaun Watson throws a beautiful pass that is dropped by, guess who, DeAndre Hopkins. And Watson is sacked once more in the hashtag Saxonville. Is coming alive with D.J. Hayden with the sack. The handoff to Leonard Fournette, the run to the outside, and they pick up a few yards. Not bad, not bad. Come on, Minshew, gotta shut me up some more, my guy. DJ Shark, do 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 do. And now here's Minshew scrambling away, and he throws a dime to Dee Dee Westbrook. Second down, 15. Don't even want to know what happened. 
But a nice completion to Chris Conley. Another first down for the Black and Tear Brigade. Oh my god, we might actually win this game. How the hell are we losing 3 0? Alright. Because whenever we decide to do something, we apparently get sacked repeatedly. Ah, great. Second down and 19 for the Black and Tear Brigade. Leonard Fournette busting free, showing some 2017 magic left in him. Fournette on the third down and five. He cannot get the first down, but that's all right. He threw it right into traffic. 40-yard field goal for Josh Lambeau. Hashtag vote him to the Pro Bowl. Three all in Houston. A handoff to Carlos Hyde, who absolutely played terrible with the Jaguars last year, is now burning them. Third down and 16 for Watson. A nice throw underneath. And oh my god, Ronnie Harrison, please do not show up at practice anymore. That was maybe the worst tackling effort I've ever seen. Second down and six for Deshaun Watson. Come on, there's 14 seconds left in the half. That... Well, I was about to say he can't be. Nothing really interesting can happen. And then Kenny Stills did that. Yes, the Kenny Stills who did this. I cannot tell you how bad this catch was. Oh my word, he sucks. But he has learned his lesson from three years ago, and Deshaun Watson will scramble, he'll scramble, and he'll throw it out of bounds. God dang it, they are going to kick a field goal. You know, with Minshew Mania, the Jaguars are only trailing by three at halftime. Come on boys, I know we can do this, I know we've only converted five four first downs, we can do this. Deshaun Watson has fumbled back-to-back -back plays as a result. The Black and Teal Brigade are actually stepping up on defense. So I get down in nine for the Minshew Mania, a.k.a. the Freddie Mercury dresser, and he'll pick up the first down. Nice play by James O'Shaughnessy. They're down in five, and Minshew eludes the sack. And another incomplete pass. Minshew has not been playing terrible, but he hasn't been playing great by any means. As... Jalen Ramsey dropped an interception. I will be going back to that play in a few minutes. Watson with the throw on the third and seven, and he's brought down by DJ Hayden. The Jaguars get the ball back, trying to tie up this game. Minshew's going to load one up, and it's going to be caught by Chris Conley. Minshew throws a nice catch by DJ. Third and one. Doug Marone hands the ball off to Leonard Fournette. Flag down, he picked up the first down. That's a shocker. Everyone in the arena knew it was going to Fournette, but there's holding on the Jaguars, and Logan Cookie Machine has to punt it away. It is, however, his best career punt as they literally down it inside the two. What? Are you kidding? Logan Cookie never makes punts like that. First and ten for Houston, and now the safety's out of question. Goliath Campbell misses a tackle, and I literally am bashing my TV with a baseball bat. First play the fourth quarter, they wake up. A good tackle there by number 26. First and 20, don't know what want to happen. Minshew will be brought down by Willie Merciless. Apparently still in the lead, the ball was out, and the Texans recovered the ball, J.J. Watt. Well then, this is great. You see, who the hell are you blocking? Yo, who's running out? <coughs> Excuse me, I have been feeling a bit under the weather. As Carlos Hyde runs for a gain of about nine, it'll be a fourth and one. A must, a must score here for the Texans. And Deshaun Watson breaks tackles and scores the touchdown. Oh my God, that's that's the game, really. As they pick it to Duke Johnson and Deshaun Watson doing Madden. Juke moves. Oh my god, I can't even do this anymore. It's depressing. This is only week two. As Minshew makes another amazing throw, and it's going to be first down and 20. To Fournette. Breaking tackles and getting 21 yards. <coughs> Apologize if my voice just gave out there. Anyway, Fournette gets another Gary and a gain of 12. Like I said, guys, my voice is broken. Shut up. Another first and 20 for the Jaguars. Oh my god, why are they committing so many penalties? Anyway, Minshew throws to DJ Shark. Do, 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 do. Okay, I can only do the real thing when he scores the touchdown, okay? Second down and 10 for Minshew. Steps up, and Minshew almost freaking threw a pick. Oh boy. 
As the Texans are dancing like dummies, the Jaguars have to score at least something. Richard does the smartest play of his career so far and dumps out to Fournette for the minimal gain. To only, to only bring out the casual Josh Lambeau to tack on three. Josh Lambeau is once again a pro kicker. There's a reason why he got a contract. Third down and nine for the Texans. Watson, he's doing typical Watson things and screwing over the Jaguars. Well, I mean, he, usually, he does usually do that, as there is a flag and there is hope for the Black and Tear Brigade. In fact, there is. It's going to be on the offense. The Jaguars get the ball. First and 10 for Minshew. This is his first career NFL game, not including preseason. Remember, this guy was the worst quarterback in the preseason, without even a question. He's trying to lead the Jaguars to glory on this drive. They're down in two. And the Texans stuff him. Can they not run the ball for the love of all that is holy? Fourth and one. I am expecting a run. And they ran the ball. And Fournette literally didn't get there. Or did he? I would be shocked. For oh, he made it. Leonard Fournette made a carry. Doug Marone. Oh, my God. You, you're you still a terrible coach, buddy, but hey, whatever. As Minshew loads out of the pocket and he throws an absolute dime, the Jaguars are roaring down the field and they are trying to score this game tying touchdown hopefully lead this game in OT or they could just go for two and be the win but why the hell would they do that as DJ Shark do, 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 makes the catch with a minute six seconds to go fourth and ten a must convert for the black interior brigade Minshew steps back Minshew pointing in directions and look at Gardner Minshew shades of Blake Bortles shades of Blake Bottles excuse me and a first down for the black interior brigade Minshew mania he is torn worldwide. First and ten for the Jaguars. And there's too many people in the freaking huddle. Minshew steps up, eludes one sec, and he will get the first down. Or he might be in half inch side, but it does not matter. The Black and Jaguars are cooking. Second down and one. Minshew to the end zone. Maybe? Yes! DJ Shark do 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 DJ Shark do 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 DJ Shark do 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 Tie this extra point, Marone. Gotta tie this. They're going for two. And and th th they ran. They actually ran. And he didn't get it. Onside kick. I don't care. Even the best kicker in the league ain't gonna do that. <sighs> well, Marone should be fired after this.